Thomas Ripley lived a solitary life until a wealthy man offered him an extraordinary opportunity. Did you ever conceive of going to Italy? I pay you to persuade my son to come home. Dickie Greenleaf? It's Tom. Tom Ripley. We were at Princeton together. How do you do? You're so white. Did you ever see a guy so white, March? You know, you should come and have lunch with us. Now, he's in a world he always dreamed of. No, I like him. Marge, you like everybody. Marge, you like everybody. If you're not home by 7 o'clock, Tom and I are running off together. With people he always admired. You can't sail. You can't swim. Did you ever know such low class? Oh, yes. Poor Tom. Living the life. Why is it that when men play, they always play at killing each other? He always wanted. You uh, stay at Dickie's house, you take his food. And his father picks up the tab. <laughs> and now that he has it... You could hardly expect this to go on forever, Tom. You've had a great run, though. What? He'll do anything to keep it. I've never been happier. I feel like I've been handed a new life. I married it, by the way. Dickie. Dickie Greenleaf. Hello, Marge. <gasps> Where's Dickie? The guy's has disappeared off the face of the earth. He hasn't called. He's hardly written. You don't just dump people. Something's going on. Do you have something you'd like to say? I think I'm saying it. I bumped into Dickie last week. That was Dickie? Mine. This is a secret. It's a secret between us. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. Whenever Dickie does something, I feel guilty. I know about you. Well, you get the reward. I always thought it would be better to be a fake somebody than a real nobody. I don't believe a single word you've just said. You're shivering, Marge. Can I hold you? Well, whatever you do, however terrible, however hurtful, nobody thinks that they're a bad person. Ah!